One of the most important factors to your website user's experience is the page load speed. 47% of users expect the site they are visiting to load in two seconds or less. One of the easiest ways to improve site speed is to enable gzip compression, which reduces the size of web files and serves your website to your users faster. If you want to learn how to easily enable gzip compression on your WordPress website, keep on watching. So what is gzip compression? Have you ever zipped a folder to a zip folder so that you could attach it to an email or download it faster? gzip compression is the same thing, but for your website files instead of your desktop files. When your files are too large or repetitive, they can significantly slow down your site. WordPress gzip compression is the process of reducing the size of the files, including HTML, CSS, JavaScript, etc. But note that gzip compression does not work on image files. If you're not sure whether gzip compression has already been enabled, use the check gzip compression tool, which we've linked to below. Input your website's URL and select check. It will either let you know how much space has been saved with gzip compression already, or let you know it isn't enabled at all. You can easily enable gzip compression in WordPress via the ht access file. Remember to back up your website before editing any code. Find the ht access code file in the root level of your website's files. And there's going to be a code snippet that you're going to want to paste into this file. You can find that code snippet in our blog post on gzip compression linked below. Save the file and your results should be almost instant. We recommend checking your logs if you have any issues with the code that we've provided. The process for enabling gzip compression on Nginx web servers is slightly different. Open up your nginx.conf file and add a specific code snippet. Visit our gzip compression blog post linked below to copy that snippet. If you're running on ISS instead, you should note that there are two different ways to compress your website files, both static and dynamic. We've linked to Microsoft's guide on how to easily enable gzip compression in WordPress for ISS in the description below. Perhaps the easiest way to enable gzip compression in WordPress is with a plugin. Our favorites include PageSpeed Ninja, W3 Total Cache, WP Super Cache, and WP Rocket. In fact, we use WP Rocket on our website and it's included in our maintenance plans. All these plugins can help you enable gzip compression through their settings so you don't have to touch a line of code. However, some of these plugins can cause more harm than good if configured incorrectly. Please make sure to take a full backup of your website before implementing any of them. Once implemented, use the Check gzip compression tool to ensure that they worked. If they don't, it's possible that the plugin doesn't have the proper file permissions. Contact your server or hosting support team to fix this. Let us know in the comments below if you use these tips to improve the site speed of your WordPress website. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel for more WordPress tips and walkthroughs. Have a buff day!